A professional, welcome to my presentation. Today I am talking about risks and control. Actually, risks is the product of probability and impact. So, if we see the risks matrix, have two dimension: probability and impact. When the probability is low, also the impact is low. Ultimately, the output of, of risks is low. When the probability is high, impact is high. Ultimately, the output of risks is high. Another formula of risks is risks equal to asset value into vulnerability into threat. So, what is vulnerability? Actually, vulnerability is the weakness of a system, and threat is an element that exploit the vulnerability. If we see an example. For vulnerability, weak coding. Weak coding is an example of vulnerability and threat. That's been, that exploit the vulnerability. So, SQL injection is the example of threat. Uh, now we are uh, talking about risk types. Actually, there are uh, main five types of risks: inherent risks, residual risks, control risks, detection risks, and audit risks. Inherent risks is that risk that exists before implementing a control that's mean before implementing a, a control is called the inherent risk and residual risk is that risk that exists after implement implementation of risk control risk is that risk that exists for internal control fail and detection risk is that risk that exist due to the audit tricks, internal audit tricks, and finally audit tricks. Actually, audit tricks is the product of inherent tricks, control tricks, and detection tricks. Uh, now, risk response. Actually, uh, there are four techniques to response the risks. First of all, risk mitigation. That means set appropriate control. To mitigate the risks is called the risk mitigation, risk avoidance. That's why we avoid the risks. Third number, risk acceptance. That management take decision that they will take the risks. So when actually management take the risks, when the asset value is less than the uh, actually uh, risk acceptance is uh, the portion when management take the decision that we take the uh, we accept the risk so when the asset value is high is more than the control then we implement or then we not take the risk acceptance and finally risk transfer actually risk transfer means we share the risk to our third party, our vendor, or insurance is the best example of risk transfer. Uh, so, to mitigate the risks, we apply different types of control. And if we say different categories of control, there are uh, main five categories of control are available. Number one, preventive control. Prevent, that's mean that prevent to occur any unavoidance or any unexpected event just they prevent is called the preventive control so say locked door or we said uh, the a firewall or uh, different types of uh, uh, security mechanisms uh, security guard is an example of preventive control so there are lots of example is available in our CISA review manual or uh, our CISSP official exam guide we can follow them the next is detective control if the vulnerability exploited by the threat and uh, the system is affected then we use the detective control just for detection purpose say we see the log monitoring or we see the uh, different types of mechanism SIEM different types of security mechanism to detect the control is the detective control and corrective control is that control 
to correct the system say different types of planning disaster recovery planning business continuity planning incident response planning also the data backup is the example of corrective control and deterrent control is the exceptional control say preventive and deterrent control both are preventive control but preventive control that means set the security guard or set the uh, physical control or set the lock door that no one can easily exploit the system is the detective control but deterrent control is just symbol say you have no entry or a locked door or just a symbol is the deterrent control just a message sign is the example of deterrent control and finally compensating control if there have any weakness after implementing the control the system have any weakness then we implement the compensating control say in a, a banking system one people or one user receive the cash and another user payment the cash but if there have only one people who perform both activities cash receipt and cash payment and for this purpose we implement a compensating control so we set up a lots of uh, mechanism uh, we set the lock monitoring uh, different types of activities performing compensating control so Uh, these are all about the leaks and control mechanism thank you for watching this video